my dad was a Muslim. He chose Islam as his religion. He chose magic as a profession. So there are two parallel lines that can never meet. Professor Pella, not many Nigerians and Africans at large will forget that name in a hurry. He was that Nigerian-born magician who dined and wine with kings, heads of states, and very important personalities during his lifetime. In the year 1941, a baby boy was born at Ishenyi, Oyo State, Nigeria, and he was named Moshud Folorisho Abiola. Also while growing up, he was nicknamed Moshud Odore Pupa, meaning Moshud the Red-Headed Boy. He attended Muslim school Ishenyi and native Authority Primary School, Ishai, Oyo State, Nigeria. He started performing magic in 1954, traveling to Ibadan, Lagos, and other parts of Oyo State. His interest in magic continued, and later in 1964, he attended a school of magical arts in India, where he spent 18 months at the school, and after completion, settled in Liberia, another West African country. Fast forward to the year 1966. He had his first was training show at the Federal Palace Hotel, Lagos, Nigeria. Many people had thought Pella was a professor in a university until he revealed that the professor title attached to Pella was just a stage name he had actually picked for himself. creative magician with many shows to his credits, some of which were the invisible genera, the escaping box, changing dresses, and the zigzag. When Pella was performing, there was really no internet as we have it today, so it was quite easy to bamboozle people in their millions. Now YouTube is flowing the show for many magicians with too many how-to magic videos. Also an indication for you to know, magicians do not conjure evil spirits or sell their soul to perform their magic. Femi Oyebodi, a professor of psychiatry at the University of Birmingham, described Pella as perfect picture of a charming gentleman and was assisted by an attractive young woman. Remembering one of his shows he attended in the year 1972 at George Stadium in Lagos, he said, My visit to the stadium was to see Professor Pella, a magician and was said to be a member of the magic sect. He was dressed in black tails, a top hat, a wand in one hand, black shoes and white cut hair. At the show, he waved his white handkerchief and a white door. Year. He was confident, majestic, elegant, and graceful. Professor Pella had previously allowed his body to be cut in half. There was no single bleeding, and the body joined itself and recovered. He also swallowed a stone in front of all the viewers, turned to the spectators, and passed out the stone live on the stage. One thing with Pella's performance is that they were performed with maximum skill and excellence. If not for that, he might have even been head and shoulders above David Copperfield of the United States of America. Professor Pella was described as a very romantic man. He was said to have married so many wives, but the most prominent of them all is al Haja Salifat Adeboyi Pella, with whom he performed his magic shows. They met in Ishai Grammar School, Ayo State, in the year 1967. He had gone to perform in the school, but was carried away by the enchanting beauty in the crowd. After that encounter, they became friends and dated for a couple of years before getting married in 1971. Together, they had some children, namely Sabri, also known as Pastor Kayode Abiola, Nike, a custodian and promoter of culture of Eri Osho, Neo Shubu Osho State, Sahi, also known as Zitu, a liar, Shina, a Nigerian entrepreneur, politician, industrialist, and a member of the Ninth National Assembly in the Green Chambers. While he was alive, he taught Lady Hella some magic and paid for her training in Michigan. This explains why they always perform together. I would like you to do me a favor at this point. Please click the subscribe button of my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell for new video alerts. And if you have done so, let's move ahead. On how she heard of her husband's death, she said she was in Lagos when she got the information. Mrs. Pella revealed that the assassination of her husband was made possible because of the personal information he leaked to the media. 
On the 2nd of August 1997, Professor Pella was assassinated in his home in Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. While he was praying, the magical hero only spent 66 years before his life was taken. Interestingly, he was killed the same day that Fela Anikulakwo Rasul Kuti also died. Moshud Folorosho Adbiola, better known with his stage name as Professor Pella, created a fashion for the art of magic in Nigeria. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Do well to subscribe if you are new and also share to your friends and drop a comment in the comment section of the next story you want me to do a video on. From me to you, be productive and stay safe.